Okay. I'm going to replace the fuel filter, which is right below there, and of course the spark plug. Uh, but before we do, I took off the uh, C portion, and now I'm going to remove the uh, I don't know, shoot, uh, footing section. I guess it's this black part. Uh, so what I'll do is, I think these are, yeah, 10, 10 millimeter. Grab those. This little cap right here is uh, primarily used to gain access to your spark plug, which is right under there. This just lifts off. I'll set that aside. And this, I believe, is held on. screws <clears throat> six actually uh, you've got your two here that hold down your seat cowl and then uh, two in the back right here on on this side and then exactly on the other side and then you've got one screw right here and then exactly on the other side. So I will take those screws out real quick. This is the Phillips head screwdriver. side moldings off since after you get the screws out they just pull right out just like that
pop right off. Let's see if I can fight it just a little bit. Clips in here. Oh, sorry. Looks like I missed two folks had screws. Show you where those are at. Right. Right there. There he is. One on each side. This way, and then this lifts right off. See these tabs right in here? Fit right into the uh, tabs of your front front cow. Set that aside. And there we go. We have full access to everything we need. Not too bad, it's starting to get a little, a little rusted. Okay. You know, first thing I want to do is uh, change the uh, fuel filter. But this video is to show you how to get the floor pan off um, of your Honda Metropolitan. Leave comments, questions, uh, and I'll answer them as quickly as I can.